In this video, let's create our very first SwelteKit application. Let's begin by setting up our development environment. For SwelteKit, we need two things installed, Node and a text editor of your choice. For Node, go to nodejs.org, download and install the latest stable release. If you already have it installed, make sure to update it. For text editor, I recommend VS Code. You can download and install it from code.visualstudio.com. All right, to get us started, I have created a folder called SwelteKit and opened VS Code inside that folder. This folder is going to be our workspace for the rest of this series. I have one folder called VS Code with a settings.json file where I have set the zoom level to four and this is purely for recording purposes. You don't have to worry about it. Now to create a brand new SwelteKit project, all we need is one line of code. In the terminal, control backtick being the shortcut, run the command npm create swelt at latest, followed by the name of the project. Let's call it hello world. The command starts an interactive CLI. First, it asks you to choose a template. We have SwellKit demo app, which is a demo app showcasing some of the features of SwellKit where you play a word guessing game. We have skeleton project, which is bare bones scaffolding for a new SwellKit app. And we also have a library skeleton project which is bare bones scaffolding for a new Svelte library. What we need for the series is the second option, skeleton project. Once you press enter, you're asked a second question. This time, whether you want to add types to the project. The options are yes, using JavaScript with JS doc comments. Yes, using TypeScript syntax. And finally, no. We are going to choose no. Not everyone is aware of TypeScript and I don't want that to be a barrier to learn SwelteKit. Press enter. And the third question is whether we want ESLint for linting. Select yes. And the fourth question is whether we want prettier for code formatting. Select yes again. Next, it asks whether we want to add Playwright for browser testing. Now we are not going to be doing any browser testing, so this one's going to be a no. For our final question, we're going to say no for vTest and unit testing as well. Once the command completes, you should see a new folder called Hello World, which contains our SwelteKit application. Now what's our next step? Well, luckily for us, it's displayed right here in the terminal. First, we navigate inside the project folder. CD, hello world. Next, we install the dependencies using npm install. Third, we set up git for version control. This is an optional step, but if you're familiar with git, I recommend you follow this step. Copy the command and paste it. Finally, run the command npm run dev dash dash followed by dash dash open. That opens our app on localhost port 5173. You can see that our Hello World application is up and running. By default, the UI features a heading that says Welcome to SwellKit and a link to the documentation. Let's go back to VS Code, expand the source folder, expand the routes folder, and edit plus page.svelte file. I will replace Welcome to SwellKit with the text Hello World. When the changes are saved, the page content is automatically refreshed and you should see the text hello world displayed in the browser. So there you go, your first SwellKit application up and running. 
All right, now that we understand how to generate a SwellKit app using the npm create command, in the next video, let's understand the generated projects folder structure. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.